we can prove that in every current country, the violence against females is a bigger indicator of all other violence inside the country and the willingness to use military violence than poverty, access to natural resources, uh, religion, or even degree of democracy. Yeah. So, you know, we, it, these are things that are connected. You know, yeah. violence is normalized at home. And then you think that one group of people is born to dominate the other, or you think this is the only way of suffering. Yeah. You know, we're trying now to make those connections. Do, do you see anything out there that gives you hope that we're headed in the right direction oh, on yes. some Are of these issues? Oh, yes. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. I mean, besides the fact that I'm a hopeaholic, which is some you should right. be. <laughs> <laughs> Which people in movements are, you know? Right. Because I, I hear you talk about this stuff, and I think I'm going to end this interview early because I'm just depressed. <laughs> I'm depressed. But I, 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 no, I, I want to know what there is that well, you see well, that is well, hopeful. What's hopeful? I mean, th yeah. th think about just ourselves. Uh, if we're of any age in domestic violence, we didn't have a word for it. You know, it was just it was the woman's fault, and it was the goal of cops to get the victim and the criminal back together again. That's what they thought was success. You know, now we have laws and definitions and shelters, and you know, I mean, that's just one small example. Right. But we've we've come a huge, huge distance.